It's early morning and I've come out to shoot one of my favourite locations which is a Mawadak estuary near Barmouth in North Wales. I'm about half an hour off sunrise so I need to get a move on because I'll be getting some good light pretty soon and I have about a 10 minute walk to get to the vantage point. Okay, I've reached the top now and as you can see behind me the, uh, the light is starting to improve quite considerably so I better get a move on and start shooting and while I'm doing some stills I'll probably do another time lapse as well. Good location for a time lapse because the clouds are coming past me at quite a lick this morning due to the wind so here we go. Okay I'm uh, set up now shooting over the, the estuary, um, fairly standard setup. I've got a sort of short um, focal length on there to get a quite a bit of foreground detail in and I'm using a two-stop hard grad because the the skyline is quite well defined and I'm not going to have any problems cutting into the mountains. Shoot a bit now hopefully get a bit more colour you can see hopefully it's improving. In addition to the, the standard shots I'm taking at the moment of the estuary, I've also put myself a 10-stop uh, ND filter on to slow down the clouds. And I'm using a very useful feature of the Olympus EM cameras, which I can hopefully show you. This is called Live Time. And it allows you to actually watch the image build on the LCD as it exposes. I don't think any other cameras got this feature other than the Olympus cameras. And this makes it superb for doing these long exposures because I can stop it at just the right point. Now, I don't know if you can see this but the view across to Kader Idris is looking particularly nice this morning and there's even some snow dusting the top of the horseshoe and just look at the colour coming through in those clouds. Well, I normally get uh, quite impatient after shooting my sunrise and uh, I want to move on so I'm always back to the car and rushing off somewhere else but today I think I'm going to be a bit more, a bit more patient. Uh, the sun's coming up over Kader Idris uh, and it's lighting up the, the estuary quite nicely so I'm going to hang around for a bit longer. Um, I've got a flask of coffee to keep me warm and I've got a bit of, uh, bit of food so I'm going to see what develops. Well, I didn't get the spectacular sunrise I was hoping for, but uh, I still, I've really enjoyed being up here because I'm on my own. Um, I've never actually had another photographer up here first thing in the morning when I've been shooting. So that's nice. There's no competition for the best position. Uh, you've got the solitude, you've got the place to yourself, which I always like. I'll just give you a quick 360 degree of the location to see what you, you think of the particular setup that I've got. Um, gives you an idea of the, the background, Barmouth, and the view down the estuary. So I'll go up on the hill and I'll just give you a quick swing round on that. Despite not being the highest point up on the, the mountain to get an excellent view, just watch this. That's uh, 
it's worth coming out for early in the morning. Well, I'm quite pleased I stuck around because um, half an hour later, I'm here at a different vantage point across the estuary, one I've not shot before. I uh, just worked my way down the grass bank a little bit through the, the heather and I've got a lovely composition set up now. If you're interested in the technical details of this shot, I'm using a standard zoom, a fairly wide open, probably about 30 millimetres in full frame terms. Uh, aperture, as you can see, f6.3, just keeping the sky from clipping with a one-stop hard grad and I have a polarizer, fully polarizing. The shot looks a little bit washed out because I have pushed the exposure up to the maximum. But once I get this back into Lightroom, it'll really come to life. Okay, I'm going to call it quits now and head back to the car, uh, get something to drink, something to eat and plan my next shot. Well, in many ways, I'm glad I've decided to come off the mountain now because it's absolutely chucking it down. It literally started the minute I packed my gear away. And to be fair, the forecast said it would happen, so it's spot on. Good job they're well made, these GoPros. Well, I'm back at the car now. Um, that was very enjoyable. Not sure if I've got anything really outstanding, uh, given there wasn't a fantastic sunrise, but I enjoyed myself nonetheless. I'm going to have something to eat and drink now and probably head down to Barmouth. If I don't like the look of it there, I have another couple of locations I want to scout out on the way back. All depends on the weather. So let's see how it goes. Well, I've decided to come up to a forestry area just north of Dolgethley. Not an area I've been in much before, although I know one of the walks around here, the, the precipice walk. But there's some nice, uh, nice looking light in the trees, so I'm going to have a little look round here and see what I can get. Well, this isn't what I came to shoot really, but I've uh, just been taken by the beautiful colours of these leaves. Just look at the, the browns here. So I'm thinking I'm going to shoot these for a minute or two.
Well, I'm done for the day now. Uh, I've got to get back going out tonight. Um, really enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time.